I am Paul Green. I play Clayton in Culture Slate, and welcome to 10 Things I Can't Live Without the CQ. That was great, except you're not Clayton in Culture Slate. The show is called Sketched Out. Wait, what? Hi. My name is Paul Green, and I play Clayton in Sketched Out. So this is Culturally Quarterly's 10 Things I Can't Live Without on Culture Slate's YouTube channel about the show called Sketched Out. Oh, these are my ear pods. I can't live without these ear pods because I like to um, constantly be watching or listening to things, and I've learned that the things that I like to watch and listen to other people don't, mostly myself. So the good news is, is when I have earbuds in, it's usually I'm listening to something, which means I'm not talking, which is just a win-win for everybody. I'm not talking, and I'm listening to other people talk, usually like a podcast. I like uh, podcasts. Oh, I need to look at my, oh, my basketball. Oh my gosh, okay. I love basketball. I've been playing basketball my entire life. Uh, I'm not that good, um, but I do play it quite a bit. I uh, did play basketball in junior high, and then I played my freshman year. Uh, played is a strong word. I was on the team. I didn't do a lot of playing, if you know what I mean. Uh, but I was really good at getting water for the people who did play. I play pickup ball like three or four times a week as much as I can, usually at LA Fitness. I uh, just love pickup games. And, you know, I mean, sometimes I catch on fire and I can shoot a pretty decent three ball, you know, and I know the fundamentals of the game. I'm actually doing this YouTube series or the social media series where I'm trying to dunk a basketball because I, so it's another thing I can't do. And uh, so I'm doing all of these like exercise programs that like promise to help you increase your vertical. And so far, all of them have been liars. So now I will hold my hand out for another thing that I can't live without which is my oh my laptop oh my trusty trusty laptop so I, li I like technology I'm I'm pretty nerdy if you haven't gathered um, what what one uh, one thing that I like to do is um, sometimes I'll download like an old video game emulator and play games from like my youth like old uh, Super Nintendo or Genesis games or like computer games and then I'll I'll play them and I'll, I'll get really good at them. And so it makes me feel like I'm being successful at life because I'm really good at a video game. Although I know intellectually that that is just probably some sort of diversionary tactic for me engaging with real life fully. Okay, now for the next thing. Oh my gosh. All right, uh, this, is, this, is my, this is my key fob. Uh, for my car, I I am a uh, I'm not a car guy, but I love my car. Usually, when you say you're a car guy, it's like you have a knowledge of cars. I don't, but what I do love are road trips. I am a stand-up comedian. I travel a lot, and I just love road trips. I I have driven all over the country uh, in uh, my car. Um, the car I have now is a Ford Fusion Hybrid Electric, which I bought about three years ago. I love this car. It's a plug-in hybrid. A Ford. It's a beautiful car. I love it. Before that, I had a Toyota Camry that I racked up 215,000 miles on and I brought it brand new. I drove it off the lot and then I drove that thing for 215,000 miles. I love that car. I also like being in control. I like that I can just get in my car and then I can go and then wherever I'm at, guess what? I have a car. With airports, what do you end up doing? You end up renting a car anyway. So why not just bring the car with you if you already have it? Of course, there's exceptions if I'm going like really far and I don't have a lot of time, but I will almost always prefer driving if I can make it work. All right, let's move move on next we have oh a keyboard so I am a piano player um, I'm a musician this is not actually my keyboard this is a representation of keyboards like right now I'm doing this and you're not hearing anything although maybe in editing uh, so I love music music has been a huge part of my life my dad was a professional musician my mother you know played music in college they were singers and she was a flautist and I always had a piano in my house and I played drums and percussion and cello and French horn 
and ukulele. I've played bass guitar. I've played in cover bands. I've played in semi-professional wind ensembles. I've played an entire percussive set. So can't can't live without can't live without my music, everybody. Uh, moving forward, what do we got next? Oh my gosh. Okay, this is this just represents soda. Zero sugar, that's not what we're doing here, kids, all right? I love Dr. Pepper. Put it in my veins. It is a, it's a huge problem. It's probably my biggest addiction is sugar. I drink it all the time. It's counterproductive to everything that I want to accomplish in my life, and I don't care. I'm trying to be in shape. I'm trying to dunk a basketball. You know, I'm trying to do all of these things, and yet that sweet, sweet nectar of the gods, that sweet secret formula, that sweet independent soda company known as Dr. Pepper, which is neither Coke brand nor Pepsi brand and won't sell out. It can go either way, baby. I'm also a big fan of movies. So uh, this movie just happens to be Napoleon Dynamite, which uh, I love this movie. So uh, movies, television in general, I, uh, you know, I, Comedy has really shaped my life. One of my earliest memories is being up in my room and listening to my dad, because we had to go to bed early, and then my dad would be downstairs watching TV and he would be laughing at something, you know, like a sitcom or whatever. And in my little child brain to get my dad's attention, <laughs> these are deep psychological threads. This one's I've already pulled a little bit on, so that's why I know this was I need to get my dad's attention. And how can I get my dad's attention? I need to be funny and I need to be on television. And so I spent my entire youth just glued to any comedic movie, television, Saturday Night Live, Chris Farley, Jim Carrey, Mike Myers, Napoleon Dynamite, anything that I could do to just figure out how can I be funny and make my dad laugh. This is my cell phone. Can't live without this. That's probably self-explanatory. So these are intangibles, because when I think about my cell phone, I also think, what's fueling this cell phone, huh? Huh? What's and then and then I realize that what's going through this cell phone is actually going through my brain right now, which is the internet. And it's kind of fascinating to think about it because I can Google anything, which pretty much means everything right now actually already is in my brain. I just don't know how to access it. And 10. The tenth thing that I can't live without is the also the one thing that I can't live without tape, everybody. Because <laughs> tape is what holds us together. Think about the adhesive of life, all right? I mean, if you really think about it, the only thing that keeps anything together is because what, what holds atoms together? Why is there adhesion? The probability that I'm not just falling through the ground, that I am just not a chaotic mess of atoms and molecules, the fact that I even exist in a corporeal form and have a consciousness to be able to discuss on Culture Slate slash Sketched Out slash GQ slash CQ is because there is an adhesive that is actually holding my body together and pulling it out of chaos into an organized mass that therefore can be interacted with. So tape, everybody, is the tenth thing that I cannot live without. So I am Paul Green. I play Clayton on Sketched Out. These are 10 things I can't live without. And thank you for watching.